welcome to Luna's Life. Today we're going to be doing an upload about weighing your gerbils. The reasons that we weigh them is because it helps you to identify any early signs of illness. It helps you to identify those that are maybe a little bit lazy and don't exercise as much as the others. It also helps you to identify if there is an ongoing problem where maybe one gerbil is being bullied by the rest and not getting enough food. This is why we weigh our gerbils, it's to give us a record so that we can then make decisions from those facts as to how we look after our gerbils, whether they need more exercise, more food, less treats, less food. So without further ado, I'm going to get them out and show you how I weigh them. Um, obviously with gerbils they don't sit still, so it has to be done in an enclosed box. And I'm going to show you that in just a second. So I weigh them by putting this plastic tub on top of the scales and hitting the on zero button, which basically cancels out the weight of this box. It just brings it up as zero as you can see. So the first one that I'm going to weigh is Alpha, because he is Alpha of the group. And so he goes first with anything that I do. In you go, darling. Good boy. Now, as you can see, the scale will move about a bit until he sits still, but I think he's gonna be about 86. Yeah, he's resting, he's 86 grams. Now, when they're moving about and they're thrashing about in this box, the scale will change. Just wait for them to settle and calm down before you write their weight down, otherwise you might get the wrong weight. So he's 86, which is great. Well done, Alpha, you did so great. Well done. Out you come, out you come. Good boy, out you come. Here's a good boy. All right, say hi, hi. You did so wonderful, well done. Oh, you can't go back in, you've already been weighed. All right, let's pop you back and get one of the others out. All right, let's get Echo because you are second in command. Hi, Echo. All right, let's pop Echo in there. Make sure the scale says zero, which it does. Just shut the lid just so that you don't escape. Wait for Echo to settle. 85, right, okay. Let's get him out because he's really not happy about being in here. Come on, let me come. It's okay, I got you, I got you. Good boy, he did a little tiddle in there, didn't you? Hi, hi, it's okay, it's okay. You're such a good boy. Okay, so I'm just gonna clean that out before I put Oscar in. So give me two ticks. Here he is, hi Oscar. Hello baby, yeah. I'm just going to pop him in here just to get his weight. Now he is the little piggy of the group so I'm expecting him to be much bigger than the others. Visually I can see it and if visually you can see it then weight wise definitely. And he's showing up as 103 I think. 103 grams. Out you come baby. Oh, you did so good, didn't you do good? You did so well. Yes, you did. I'm just gonna pop him back. So now I'm just gonna pop them back in their enclosure. And I do this by opening up the central lid and holding it up to the door. It's less stressful for them for me to keep reaching into a small confined space to go and get them. Well done, didn't you do good? Yes, you did, you did amazing, well done. Well done. I'm gonna just replace their food bowl. I just had to take that out so that I could actually get them out of their enclosure. Now, normally when I do any activity such as this, I would be looking to treat them. Um, however, I'm not gonna treat them today. What I will be doing is putting in some more activities into their enclosure. Um, as you can see, there is a cereal box in there that they're halfway through um, chewing. But I will be putting other bits and pieces for activity for them all to take part in. And trying to encourage Oscar to really do more activity. So when I get him out of the enclosure, I will be handling him more and um, basically trying to get him to do some more exercise. He is the laziest out of the bunch, hence why he is the biggest. It's got nothing to do with food in this instance. However, what I will do is when I do treat them, I will make sure that I give him an alternative treat, which is less fatty and less sugar than the other two just to try and even their weights out just a little bit more. 
And that's why we weigh them, guys, so that we can make those decisions for our gerbils to make sure that they're all healthy. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please add some comments, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to see my videos as and when I upload them, ring that bell. Bye for now. Thank you.